Good morning everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF, ready for another Summits on the Air activation. Drove up here to Flagstaff and uh, not quite sure how cold it is, but uh, uh, pretty chilly, probably below zero. Uh, stopped at the airport and... Hello Charlie, it's Brian, W7JET, with an emphasis on the jet today, well, turbo prop, but <laughs> close enough. Flew up, actually passed Charlie on the way up here. W7JET, NJ7B. explains why I can hear you now. I couldn't hear you at first, but uh, I just am a little bit past, uh, or just coming up into uh, Camp Verde, so uh, you're, I guess you're already ahead of me. Did about, uh, what, about 220 knots. We talked a little bit on 410, and I think I was flying over Camp Verde about the time you were driving through Camp Verde. And then I had to wait for you for 45 minutes. Man, you drive slow. <laughs> so the benefits of, uh, of flying. I hate pilots. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. <laughs> so yeah, we flew up. I flew up today in a King Air 200 for work. And um, unfortunately, Charlie could have come with me, but this is a big crew today for this clinic that I was flying. So they um, not enough seats. So Charlie had to drive. So he had to take the cheap seats. <laughs> And he's going to drop me back off at the airport at the end of the day today, and I will probably beat him back to Phoenix, and he will leave before me, most likely. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we got a hill to climb. It's cold, and, uh, you know, batteries <laughs> are still good on Charlie's GoPro, so we're good to go. <laughs> yep. So this is what a pilot does. He rubs it in. <laughs> so here's there's the San Francisco Peaks. Beautiful over there. So, all right. Enough of that, Brian. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> This is Cochrane Hill, and uh, not too bad. It's just main thing is it's, it's just snow on the ground and it's really cold. So, other than that, when we get up there, I have something interesting to introduce you to. A new toy, not a toy, but a new little gadget that was sent to me that I'll uh, show you when we get up there. So the steepness of this road, you guys watching, I don't know if you can, it's hard to tell how steep stuff is, but this is really steep. I mean, if you turn around and look this way, <laughs> Brian, what are you doing? <laughs> He's such a nut. <laughs> yeah, it's almost straight up. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Oh. This is really steep. <clears throat> so I think that whole ridge line is in the activation zone, but... Alright, we're in the activation zone, not at the high point, but uh, this is kind of a... Like, like a lot of the summits in Flagstaff, it's a blown out volcano. So the, uh, the crater rim, we're on the top of it. So this whole area where Brian is and continuing on over there to the high point is over here, is all activation zone. So Brian's gonna set up right here, it looks like. Yeah, it's a little shade, not really shade, but wind shade. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna set up on the sunny side so I stay warm. Yeah. And I'm gonna head down here a little bit more. <clears throat> but look at that view. That's the San Francisco peaks. Highest peak in Arizona, right over there. All right, I found a home. Right here is nature's picnic table. If you can't find one, then rocks will do. So I'm gonna get my antenna up and we'll get going here. Okay, I'm ready to go with uh, transmitting now, but I wanted to show you something that uh, I have. And this is uh, a little paddle. You might've seen this on uh, K4SWLs on his uh, YouTube page, YouTube channel, he uh, kind of featured this. This is a paddle created by Ara, and Ara's call sign um, is uh, N6ARA, and he, <coughs> uh, like I said, gave me this, and I, I wanted to try it out. Uh, what you'll see is it's uh, in, in a really neat, nice little vial thing to kind of keep it protected. Let me take it out here real quick. 
and this is what it looks like. So it goes right in directly into the jack of the uh, uh, CW, uh, jack of your radio. But the problem is, you know, it's on the back of this uh, FT817, so I have to plug it in right here. And, uh, you know, I could turn the radio around and then operate, you know, operate like this. And I might try that for just a minute. But I'll also, uh, I did get a, a cable that I could use. And it has, uh, the, it has the female end in there, so I could use that. And also, in addition to that, I, I, I bought a little uh, adapter. Because my primary um, paddle has a male-to-male male on each end uh cable so i thought if i could uh, just plug one end into here and then uh, uh ara's paddle into the other end of this then i wouldn't even have to carry an extra cable i could just i just have to carry this 18092 18092 let's send qrl first I can tell already it's going to be easier for me to put that, uh... yeah, look at that, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of loose in here, so, I don't, you know, it's, it, it kind of jiggles a little bit, so I'm going to just actually pull out that uh, cable right now, and use that. That's my friend, uh, N4HNH. I'm having a little trouble holding this. There's another surprise I have for you. And that is, uh, Ara also came out with a little thing to hold, uh, Hold this a little bit better. That's this here, and uh, I'm gonna pull this out and try it. So like this.
problem here. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let me see how many I got in the log here. Uh, looks like we got, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like we got eight in the log. Didn't quite get Pete, so that's too bad. But uh, N4 H&H, &H, Doug, my friend in uh, in Georgia, hello. Uh, glad you were, uh, was able to work you <coughs> and several others here that I know quite well. Um, let me go ahead and show you again this uh, this little paddle here with the with the uh the enclosure here it's pretty cool it's uh let me pull this out so really it just plugs in let me set that right there I'm gonna slide it's just kind of hollow there and it slides right in the side and then in the back you uh you add this uh jack here i will say that there was a little bit of uh, i don't know what the deal was maybe a little give or something inside here and it was causing causing this uh this uh, paddle to not work every once in a while. When I put my finger on it, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I did here. <coughs> so, so this goes in like this. And on the other side now, you got that poking through and so this just goes right in there. So when I was sending, um, you can see kind of in the back here, what happens is, let me see if I can show you, there's a little, little play in there. And I think that's what it was. I don't know what it was exactly, but but uh, this enclosure, there's something with it that every once in a while uh, the DAWs won't won't send. And and I don't think it uh, has anything to do with the paddle itself. I think it's just this enclosure with the connection here in the back. Seems like to be the problem. But anyway, okay. So that's about it. I'm gonna wrap it up. I appreciate those of you who chased and those of you who came along and and joined me for this activation. Big shout out to uh, Ara for letting me, uh, well, for uh, selling me some, uh, some of his uh, paddles and letting me try out that, uh, that enclosure a little bit. Big thanks to him. Go ahead and check out his, uh, his website. I'll put it in the, in the notes below. And uh, also, uh, I have some things coming up. I, I've been a little bit delayed in, in my, my uh, most recent paddle review, but that's coming up here pretty soon too. I also have something on the workbench uh, having to do with V-Band. The, that's all I'll tell you, but that's coming up and it's an, kind of an exciting thing as well. And then I also uh, uh, wanted to, I, there'll be a short video coming out about some of my opinions about how they have changed on the reviews I've done so far on the paddles. There's a few things that have that have changed in my mind and uh, as I've used them and, and uh, worked and uh, become more experienced with the paddles. So uh, I think that's about it. We're going to wrap it up. Brian's over there uh, packing up as we're, as I'm speaking here. And, and so uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, thank you for visiting the channel, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. 73 to you guys. Bye-bye. That's the office up there. <laughs> You can see we've got the HT over there so I can talk to Charlie on the way home. <laughs> yeah. This is a King Air 200. It still has the classic six pack in it. Other airplanes are all glass cockpits. This is a newer airplane that we're going to eventually get a glass cockpit in. The airplane cruises at uh, Mac. This particular airplane is not RDSM for those who know what that means. It cruises at a max altitude of 28,000 feet. We rarely go that high because most of our trips are fairly short just around the state of Arizona. If this airplane was RBSM, for those that know what that means, it could fly above 29,000 feet up to 35,000 feet. What RBSM stands for is it's reduced vertical separation minima, and it has to do with the separation between airplanes vertically and horizontally above 29,000 feet. And uh, it requires some special certification for the stuff in the plane to be able to do that. But anyway, um, it has two turboprop engines on it, uh, four-bladed propellers. 
GPS navigators with transponders. That's what we see inside there. Generally, this airplane's we're operating, uh, the trip down to Phoenix from here would take about 30 minutes at the most. Um, really more like 20, 25, but when you factor in taxi <coughs> time and everything else. So if Charlie leaves in the next 20 minutes, I will probably pass him handily on the way home. Yeah, I got rush hour traffic to deal with probably. Yeah, I'll have rush hour traffic after I land and start driving home yeah. myself. In fact, there's a good chance you'll probably be on the one-on-one -on -one about the same time I am. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is my office. Charlie just gets to video envy, which is <laughs> me flying over the traffic while he has to drive through. Yeah, tough job. <laughs> I almost left him just all, along the road somewhere for all of his uh, shenanigans and uh, get, you know giving me a hard time rubbing it in. <laughs> yeah, so so I really am a pilot and I really do fly planes, and that's why I am W seven G. There you go. <laughs> and uh, one little additional note is. We knocked it out of the park. We did three activations today. In six and a half hours. In six and a half hours. And they were all bonus points. So we got uh, 33 points. Yep. They were eight pointers, so with the three. Yep, all steep, mile or less summits. We huff, we huffed it out, you know, had a few less cheeseburgers recently, so we were able to haul <laughs> it up the hill. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna head back. Yeah, drive safe, Charlie. 7-3, everybody, we'll see you all later. See you guys.